world's been a pretty small place over the last few years. COVID's shut down so many borders and made it so hard to travel. So in 2022, it's with a huge sense of joy and relief that myself, that's me, Greg Villalobos, and five of my friends jumped on a ferry from the south of England to the north of Spain with one mission, to follow the trans Euro Trail and head to the mountains to find snow. So it's the morning of day two. Shh, Craig, I'm trying to do my piece to camera. It's the morning of day two, and we stayed at Casa Nahia in the town of Lorca. And it was five out of five, I think everyone would agree. How was your tent last night, Well, It was rugged. We yeah. had five bear of it, raw. Yeah, so no. Where are we going today? The desert. The desert. The wet. The wet, the slimy. slimy. So the mud plains. Don't tell Clive. Don't tell Clive on his standard tyres. <laughs> which I found to be not much cop really when off-road in the wet. Oh. How's your BPM? Yeah, I'm probably going to die. That was horrible. That was good though, wasn't it? Really good. Yeah, I was worried that this wouldn't be a challenging day. The best day. The best day on a bike. Did you get his, did you get his number? <laughs> Rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. And as we left the coast and headed for the countryside, it really did feel like it had been raining. I hadn't expected it to be so lush and golden. And up on the hills were these huge wind farms, miles of them as far as you could see. In the UK, a lot of our wind farms are offshore. So it felt pretty magical to be able to ride under these huge turbines with the propellers above our heads going whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. What are we looking at now? thousand sheep. <laughs> it's a lot of sheep isn't it? That's amazing. It's the kind of thing you don't really expect to happen isn't it? Yeah. By the end of the day we'd seen four shepherds and what felt like hundreds of sheep. I don't know about you but I spend my working hours behind a computer screen and you know what? Some industries are never going to be digitised. How is today? Bob? Today's been awesome. It's a bit like Morocco, but greener. It's very good. Everybody should come here and ride this part of the trail. It's very it's dusty, good. isn't it? It is dusty, but that's okay because it's quite windy as well. So the wind, if you drop back, the wind blows it away. So. Okay, we're at Las Bardenas, which is that is like a giant rock formation thing and there's loads of kind of well, it's like being in a spaghetti western in fact they did shoot the spaghetti westerns here every day you had a rhythm you get up you ride you stop for coffee you ride you stop for lunch you ride you might have another coffee on the trail and eventually at about five or six o'clock you start to get tired and hungry and hangry and so the phones come out and you find out where the nearest village is and you cross your fingers and you head in that direction. What's going on, Will? Well, we've negotiated a pretty sweet deal. Came out of nowhere, found this place. Greg, <laughs> we found a campsite about 20k away. Greg says, no, I'm going to go try that place. Walks in, no Spanish. Manages to sort of sing and dance our way into a nice little guest house. Oh my gosh. That really does taste good. <laughs> it's pretty black. That's disgusting. I was going to get a really nice photo next to the beautiful boat in the middle of the desert. And then someone parked their van. What are you going to do? Sun's shining. Uh, it's going to be about 25 degrees today, which is brilliant. About eight degrees now, so what I am wearing to get the day going is I have a merino base layer just for comfort, then I have my super shirt, <clears throat> and then I've got my Baltic uh, hybrid mid layer, and then I've got my linesman jacket uh, over the top. And once the sun comes out, I will uh, stop, take off my Baltic hybrid stash it, ride like that, 
and when the sun really comes out this afternoon, I will probably take the arms off my linesman. And that'll keep me nice and cool. Oh, I find a bit of shade. Yeah. Anyway, the boat. We're not near the sea, are we now? We're nowhere near the sea. No. We're actually in a town called Fig Roll, famously named after the Fig Roll. There's a connection between Fig Rolls. So they used to catch Fig Rolls in little baskets on the bottom. Well, that's a Fig Roll fishing boat. So they used to trawl the local deserts for Fig Rolls. It's the start of our third day of riding. Um, nice and early in the morning, really crisp and fresh. It's going to get quite hot today, so we're just making the most of the cooler weather. And Maria was our hostess with the mostess, and she was almost like a sort of a, a grandma feeder type. So we went for dinner there. Bearing in mind it didn't cost much money at all. And she brought out plate after plate, cold meats and salad and oh, nuts and stuff like that. And we thought, oh, what a great meal. We scoffed it all up. And then she brings out chips, pork chops and everything like that. Turns out it was just a starter. And then she brings out dessert as well. And we paid next to nothing for it, it was amazing. So her grandkids are definitely very happy and definitely very fat as well. Turns out Adam's a complete history buff. And according to Adam on the tech, you're often following trails and tracks that are hundreds, if not thousands of years old. We were just coming up onto these hills here and there's a Roman, some sort of town building site. Esteluga S. Conde Los Restos. Come on, Will. Yeah, I think this was water, wasn't it, Will? But why have you got things in the way of the road? That's those stepping stones. Think how many people have stepped across these stepping stones. So I thought that was cool. It turns out we're actually riding through a whole Roman uh, village, essentially. We've just passed the water mill and we're heading down now to what I believe looks like a viaduct or the remains of a viaduct or something along those lines. Lots and lots of huge ancient pillars. Uh, and you can really just imagine, just it's, it's just the most stereotypical sort of Roman village. Here's a, a woman from the village, very happy, but in medieval times she would have been just very ill, living in squalor and probably not that happy. So it's good things have moved on for the dark ages. With the desert behind us, we started to head up into what felt like the Australian bush. I've never been to Australia, but I imagine that's what it's like. Wide, fast tracks that turned into clay with a little bit of rain. Right, 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 right. You get really fast, sort of dusty sections. And then every so often, these... Oh! Oh no. No. Oh. Did you get it? Oh my god, it's on it's on camera. I've been waiting years for that. What happened? You're right. It's just a bit of a rare occurrence. Pussy fell out. <laughs> Did you just lose it in the mud? Yeah. And I just said seconds before. Someone's <laughs> falling off. Are you okay? Only that I'd been on camera. It is. It is. I got the first fall as well. One, two, three. Oh. It's liability. There's more damage done the second time. Your uh, gear stick went in there. Oh, is that rubbing a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Get it, get it! <laughs> I'll just ride it off. <sighs> just give him a minute. Give him a minute. It was like the falling of Christ in front of me. He never falls off. No. Mm. If, and if, unfortunately, it's on camera. Were you filming when it happened? Yeah. Were you? I was literally going, I was like, oh, it's really, really dry, nice and fast. Very soft, you get these awful mud bits and <laughs> Noel's going down with one like, leg down on the floor and the bike's just going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How is this making me feel now? You know what? Everyone's got an opinion about what makes a great trail bike. 
clearly I have the best trail bike. But honestly, if you can pick it up and fix it on the trail side with some limited tools and a little bit of time, you're gonna be absolutely fine. So I find everyone has different roles on these kind of trips. And uh, Davy and Noel are doing pretty pretty good job of keeping us right and making us making sure we know where we're going and searching out bits to do, bits to miss out, where there's some fuel and food and all the rest of it. And I have contributed zero to that part of the trip, but I have taken a lot of pictures. So would you consider this wild camping? No. No, no. Are we going to do some wild camping this holiday? Do you think the lawmakers will disagree? Full? Oh. Looks like we are wild camping then. Oh, it's not full. What? Davy. The trick is now, you have to beat Noel to get the perfect camp spot. So we'll block him in. We'll make sure that he can't move. No, Noel, I'm choosing the camp spot first. I want this one. I'm camping here. How did I end up next to Clive? He's so loud. I got the warmest sleeping bag on the planet. Might not need it tonight. <laughs> it's a bit bloody hot in here. Just have to unpack thermals, rain gear, heated gloves, and cables to get to my tent. Which is, and it's now about a thousand degrees inside my tent. My like minus two degree sleeping bag as well. What, what have you done? Uh, the good old faithful has done what they do. Oh, what a pain in the ass that is. Uh, the joys of having a broken side stand. I need help at the petrol station. Is it PPP again? Oh! I didn't stop I... it. Was <laughs> that PPP? I can't... <laughs> oh, come on then, Clive, you might as well top it. Wait, 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 wait! Is it top, not even top. full? No! Sorry. Just be very gentle, very gentle. And finally, after a week of riding, we started to gain elevation and go up, up, up into the mountains. And there's a real sense of excitement as the roads got sexier. We were turning through hairpins and the views were getting bigger and the tracks were getting wider. First trail of the day. Oh, amazing scenery. Someone's definitely coming off. Probably me, I'm so full of uh, pancetta and eggs. I wonder how mad Greg would get if I tried to push him down this cliff. Wow, look at that castle up there. nicest little place for lunch. The adults are making some coffee and down here the kids are playing. Oi. Oh I don't fucking do it. Do it. I don't fucking do it. Do it. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> You gotta do it, Will. You gotta do it. Get in, get in! <laughs> For the viewers at home, we're gonna see if we can run Greg Villa Lobos off the side of a mountain, but. <laughs> <laughs> 
Obviously that was completely safe to do. <laughs> We're going two up on the KTM. Oh, I'll squish your banana, <laughs> mate. No, get off! <laughs> get off my banana! <laughs> it's slowing down, maybe it's something we can do here. Maybe if I just go... Oh, yeah, it worked! <laughs> we really thought that we would be uh, up here in the snow at the moment. We've packed our thermals. And the only snow we've seen at the moment is all the way in the distance over there. So that's the edge of the Pyrenees so far. Oh, having a lovely hike in the woods and I came across some pretty extravagant MacGyver sh** going on. What, what is this? This is version three. Version three. <laughs> version three. What's, what's the way? drone lasso, the drone poker, the drone lasso. We're now going for a poker version too. I can't even see it. Where is it? Oh, this is, this is gold. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try it? It's coming, it's coming. Oh! David, oh, David, oh, David, oh David, no, David! David. <laughs> There's a, a on a, one of the blades. It was uh, the end. Do you have a spell? Have got Not here. Good job. Well, you know, time. if that's the last aerial, that's the last aerial. You're just thinking we... about your film now, rather than Will's six thousand no. pound drone. It's not six thousand pound. You know what? You could ride what we'd done in a day, but we'd taken a week from the coast down to the desert and up into the mountains on the edge of Andorra. We came home to find snow. Didn't find it, don't matter. Our couple of experiences and stories that had been empty for so long had been refilled. So Noel, like, can you describe the last half hour? <sighs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Is it pinned somewhere? <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, we've just ridden up from what was the end of one of our tech tracks. And we, it was such a nice track. This is the classic get off the track that you've been on, that you've been looked at on the internet, get some local knowledge of where to go after that, and it's kind of the best track we've been on on the whole. Well, it makes you realise that the Tet is all designed to help you get somewhere, yeah. and actually there's quite a lot more to ride yeah. if you're not fussed about that. Yeah. So we ended up coming up, and it was just... It feels, this feels like the highest point we've been to, doesn't it? We've seen more mountains oh, yeah. from here than we've seen anywhere else. So we just started to think about, wouldn't it be it's our last night, wouldn't it be great just to camp out? And we found a great spot to camp. So we've just set up camp for the night, four of us up here. Uh, we're going to meet up with the other two tomorrow. Got the tents nice and close, there's not a lot of flat ground. Uh, Greg's side stand is still broken, so the 310 is supporting him as always. Okay, we just got to get out of Noel's way because we're obviously in the way of Noel. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing with that? Yeah, do I? That is the shot, isn't it, Noel? Oh, amazing. Noel, do you think there's any bears up there? Um, yes, there is, and we need to work out is it best to run or stay still? I've got to find somewhere to hang my Uncle Ben's. Bears love rice, don't they? <laughs> Uncooked Uncle Ben's rice. So what, what are, you asking me? are there bears? Are there bears? Yeah, does the Pope fish in the woods? He probably has at a young age. He's done a lot worse than that, I'll let you know. Absolutely stunning. It's hard to take a bad picture in this light. I've got about an hour of sunlight left and it's just like... <laughs> just fill that memory card up. Uh, I feel like an absolute Instagram. <laughs> Everyone's got their recording device out, but uh, uh, there's Will shooting me, shooting me, and I'm shooting Noel with my big long lens, but it is, it is special, very special. The Trans Euro Trail is a squiggly line that you can download and put onto your phone or GPS and away you go. It's so easy, but really, I think it's a lot more than that. You go on the trans Trail with your friends and you're making memories. You're making stories that you're going to tell your kids and your grandkids. 
It's about spending time with people that you love. And as I made this film, I realized that each of these photos is a story. It's a memory, and you know what? The older I get, the more valuable these pictures are gonna become. If you're on the Trans Euro Trail, enjoy it, look after it. It's a precious thing. We've got this much water left and we're in the middle of nowhere. I'm trying to make it seem perilous. This is all the water we have left, so if we don't make it out of here... Adventure Spec, thank you for the trousers.